Okay, today we're going to do a little review of the logic method. And uh, Peter is going to describe for us how to do an addition problem, subtraction, multiplication, division. Uh, but before we get started, I just want to bring up the fact that there are numerous ways to teach the abacus, but I would say the most popular ways are the secrets method and the logic method. And we're going to really just concentrate on the logic method today. The logic method is a method that if you have a student who really understands the workings of math, that's the way I would go. If you have a student that might be a little uh, less able to understand the reasons for things and is a very rote learner, I would recommend the secrets method. Now with logic, the student should really have a good understanding of fact families because that's kind of what you're dealing with when you're going to be setting and clearing your numbers on the abacus. And I'm not going to go any further with this, but Peter's going to explain to us where to set the numbers and what the thought process is for him to work through these problems. And I've got some problems right here. We're going to start. If you need to look back, you can look All back right. here. All right, cool. But let's start with um, a money problem, $195.70 and you're going to want to add $8.51 to that. All right. So I'm going to start by using my first unit mark as my decimal place. And to the left of the unit mark, I'm going to set 195. So 195. And the unit mark is my decimal, so immediately after the unit mark, I would set uh, 7 for 0.7. And the tenth, that's the tenths place immediately to the right of the unit mark, and I want to add eight dollars, well, eight point five one, eight dollars fifty one cents. So first, I will go to the um, ones column and see if I can add eight there, which I cannot do directly, and I can't add ten directly, and I can't add fifty directly. So I will have to add a hundred, which is ninety eight, ninety two, too many. So I will clear. 90, and for my 5, I'm going to, I can't clear 2, ones. back in the 1's column, okay. and I can't, can't clear 2, so I'll clear 5, and set 3, which is how three, many too many, which is 2 too many, so I'll set 3, and there's the 8, and I'll, to add uh, 0.51, we go immediately to the right of the unit mark, and we can't add 0.5 directly, so we will add 1, which is 0.5 too many, so we can take away 0.5, and the one in the hundredths place, which we can add directly, and we will. And our uh, final answer is two hundred four dollars and twenty one cents. Okay. All right. That's right. Cool. Okay. And I'll clear. Okay. So in that particular problem, he set directly. He also had to use his fact families not only for ten, which means going to the next column and then coming back to the column he actually is trying to do the adding in. Yeah, you But have he to also had to go over a couple columns. Borrowing, if mm -hmm. you will, from different columns and mm -hmm. uh, carrying those numbers over. So. 